Hey, I'm back with another uh, 1 o'clock in the morning how-to video. This video is uh, how to hook up a crossover. So if you got a crossover laying around or you want to get one for whatever reason, um, this is how you uh, hook it up. It's actually fairly quite simple and uh, you don't need much to do it. Here's the tools that, uh, that you need to do this or uh, that'll help anyway you got crimpers always good for uh, car audio I usually have a little set like that or two or three actually that I have with a bunch of uh, connections like these little connections you don't have to have these but uh, makes things prettier sometimes gonna need some wire this is 16 gauge uh, you should be able to use 18 gauge you don't need any huge wire because you're not going to try to push a lot of power to this crossover. You just need enough power to turn it on. So, uh, you know, go to Walmart or uh, wherever you want to go. and uh, Or even find some spare wire. A uh, little wire laying around. Uh, yeah. Screwdriver. Um, some crossovers to, uh, to hook things up to the positive, the negative, and the remote. It has a little screw. So you're going to need a little screwdriver. Um, also, you might need an Allen wrench for your amp because some amps have uh, connections like that to where you need to stick an Allen wrench in there because you're going to need to get into your uh, your amp, not the speaker wire, but the connections. And you're going to need a little RC, uh, set of RCAs. Uh, this one's too long for where I got my crossover mounted, so um, I got it uh, tied together to make it shorter. But uh, another set of RCAs is what you're going to need. And uh, this is about the simplest thing ever to do so uh, I got this big fan still running on here it's kind of a punk to uh, take on and take off so I just leave it on but all it's doing is sitting over top of my amp and I have my crossover mounted right next to it this MTX crossover right here oh, sorry I'm trying to block not to block the light <clears throat> uh, that I use once in a while just for the fun of it and uh, has a few different features and things and actually uh, this amp over here is a uh, MA audio amp right there and it does not have a bass knob on it and uh, sometimes I have it mounted to where I can't uh, access the bass boost very well so I hook this guy up and it's very easy I just turn this little knob and can turn it up or turn it down and uh, this has got my uh, my hertz on it to uh, set it to what frequency I want, which is pretty cool. But uh, here's all you do. Say you got your amplifier hooked up over here. You got your power and your ground and your remote all running in there. <clears throat> and you have your RCAs. All you do, unhook these RCAs to where they're going into, which is the input on your amp. Take it around here. And you got... Uh, on this one, this in particular crossover, um, I have two spots to put it in. The rear, uh, which is um, I use for my subwoofer, and then you got the front for like some tweets or something like that for uh, uh, like a tweeter amp. But uh, just for hooking it up for a subwoofer, I got uh, the rear input here in which I will stick uh, my uh, red to red and white to white, or in this case it's uh, black to white but uh, you know one of the colors always match boom that's in and then you got you got to uh, take your other little set right here and you hook it down here into my uh, your uh, low level output which is what that right there is low pass output same thing got your red to your red black to the white and then, <clears throat> oh, I got a bad throat today. Where you had your regular, um, your regular uh, RCAs going into your uh, input, that's where you're going to stick these guys, right into there. If I can get them in there. Yeah, right into there. Boom to boom. <clears throat> your RCAs here. That was going into your amp. Stick them into the rear. And then you uh, connect your other set right in here, boom, right into your input. And uh, then all you do is you just splice. You got your power, 
your remote and or your, well this one goes actually power ground remote all you do is you splice these into your amp that simple right here's your power on this one actually I have uh, all blue wires running because it does not matter um, what color wires you got running it's just uh, it's less confusing but I know what's going on so I just used all the same wire because I have a bunch of blue wire and uh, this red and black wire right here it's running for my fan uh, I got that in another video if you want to know how to hook that up but it's still hooked up so I didn't feel like unhooking it because I just got this board as one big piece but all you do is you got your power you're gonna hook up I got one of them fancy little one of these little connectors here running into it so it just goes right underneath that screw right there but really all you gotta do is uh, cut this with your crimpers and stick your power wire or your wire underneath this screw here and then screw it back down works just fine you just run that sucker around run it around and all you're gonna do is you're gonna splice that right into that which is gonna be taking this part of the wire finding your power wire it's gonna be my red here this actually is my red and uh, you just like the easiest way I do it is um, I'll take I'll have I'll take this off take that out I'll put this little guy in there first push him in not all the way blocking everything but push him in a little bit and then put that big red guy in there and uh, you'll have both these hanging out there and then you tighten her down they're both in there tight you do the same thing with the remote on here and the ground on here you just run wires from your crossover right there all over here to your amp. Now don't be mixing up no wires. Don't 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 be mess up and run your power power wire here and run it around here and screw up and put it in your ground because I don't think that'd be a good deal. I've never done it, but I'm guessing it'd be bad. But uh, yeah, you just splice your wires in. You know, just uh, power to power, ground to ground, remote remote. Splice them right into your amp. Hook them right into where it goes here. Or if you got a distribution block running, you can. Put it in one of those. It doesn't matter. All this amp needs is the same thing as an amp needs. A power, ground, and remote. So, uh, yeah. I'm guessing you already have your amp hooked up or uh, you already know how to do it. Um, if you don't know how to hook up an amp, I got another video that will tell you how to hook up uh, your amp. Uh, it's a pretty easy layout. I haven't had, I've actually not had one complaint. Um, uh, I guess it helps uh, people out if you don't understand how so feel free to check that video out and uh, that's how you hook up a crossover uh, I'm sure I'll see you next weekend with another fantastic video of some sort a sad sight right there empty trunk Busted window. <clears throat> Flat tire. Bummer. <laughs>